You know, why don't we name tornadoes? Honestly, why don't we name floods or sandstorms or water spouts? Yeah. So, in this video, I'm going to explain why we don't and what would happen if we did name something as silly as a tornado. Getting into the basics. Tornado, you know, is very concentrated. It has a crap ton of frequency. It happens much more than what we would name, you know, like hurricanes and winter storms. You know, those are things that we would name and give, like, human qualities to a little bit. Whereas tornadoes, you know, it we wouldn't do that. And here's why. Hurricanes and winter storms happen much less in frequency and in relation to time. And what I mean by that is per, you know, 24 to 48 hours in a given environment, there can only be maybe two to three winter storms happening in the United States at maximum. So it's very easy for us to track it, analyze each of them, and just move on with this. Um, hurricanes, same thing. You know, three to four that we're monitoring that are some threat to somewhere on the planet. You know, they don't happen um, much in terms of frequency. In terms of power, that's different. Um, but in terms of frequency, it's very, fr um, it's very easy for us to um, analyze and determine where it's going to go. Since it follows a general path, um, and that's what makes it more easier to um, analyze it as well if we were to give it a name. If we were to give a name to a tornado, a single tornado, there would have to be some context that goes behind it. Because tornadoes happen way more in frequency than hurricanes and winter storms, you know, combined even. Because, I mean, think about it. Tornadoes are very short-lived most of the time. Some last maybe 30, 40 minutes, you know, maybe longer than that. I think the longest one was like two hours or something. They happen way more in frequency, and they're very, very, very unpredictable. You know, take El Reno, for example. Everyone, you know, general tornado trends go from, you know, the southeast to the northeast, um, but the El Reno one went, you know, started off going to the southeast, made a curve, then turned to the northeast, and threw a lot of stuff off guard, and end of story. Oh, <laughs> and just to show, it's, they're very unpredictable. Not to say that hurricanes and winter storms aren't, they still have a range of unpredictability, but it's much easier to predict those than it is with a tornado. Like I said, tornadoes are much more concentrated than winter storms and hurricanes. And, you know, if we were to name them, we'd probably have to give, you know, we'd probably have to recycle the alphabet or like the names every... <laughs> Every month, basically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially if there's like a tornado outbreak where there could be upwards of 20 to 30 tornadoes in a given day. You know, we're basically going to be using a crap ton of names. You know, we might even use names twice and it's just going to be very chaotic and it just wouldn't be practical. You know, especially if you look at it from like, you know, if there's a squall line and there's two, three tornadoes happening at the exact same time. Do you really think that naming them would make it any easier for us to understand them? I really don't think so, unless they have intense power to them. If it's like an F4 and F5, then maybe it could be practical to name it. But at the same time, I still feel like it would cause a lot of chaos and a lot of confusion in terms of like, oh, which tornado is which? Because, you know, it's so concentrated on like a hurricane or winter storm. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I really hope that explains it in depth as to why we don't name tornadoes. And if we did, there'd be a crap ton of chaos, end of story, period. And that's why we don't do it. Um, I don't see a future where we could name tornadoes. Um, I just really don't see it. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some information out of this that you find valuable, um, funny, or just any sort of um, thing like that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video as you go out. And don't um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Weather World. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. I'm going to start saying that and spamming that as much as I can. Because I can't emphasize it enough. That little bell will be your best friend. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.